Hi, I'm Mary Hamill, and this is a High Speed Rail News Channel update for the last week in October, brought to you by Global 5 Communications. Senator Bill Nolson is announcing Florida is receiving an additional $800 million from the U.S. Department of Transportation for the segment from Orlando to Tampa, on track to be America's first operational high-speed rail line. The $800 million is in addition to the $1.25 billion Florida received in January. Florida is also receiving $8 million to plan the high-speed line from Orlando to Miami. Hillsborough County voters are deciding if a sales tax increase will provide dedicated funding for transportation improvements, including connecting the entire region to the high-speed rail station plan for downtown Tampa. It is so important that we link light rail and a better bus system to high-speed rail because we will have a multimodal high-speed rail, light rail station in the northern part of downtown so that people, when they get off the high-speed rail coming from Orlando, can then say, I need to go to USF on the light rail, I need to go to Tampa International Airport on the light rail, I need to take an express bus out to Brandon, and it all becomes a seamless transaction for them, and that's what we're trying to achieve. On the other end of Florida's first high-speed line, Orlando International Airport has unveiled plans for its intermodal terminal, the first of its kind in America, to provide connections on one level to four types of rail, high-speed, commuter, light rail, and the airport shuttle. In California, U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner says the state's $40 billion high-speed rail system would be money well spent. Speaking in Palo Alto, Geithner said, investment in public infrastructure in transportation is a very good investment. It has the benefit of getting some of the people hardest hit by the recession, people manufacturing autos and construction back to employment. I'm Mary Hamill and this is your High Speed Rail News Channel update for the last week in October, brought to you by Global 5 Communications.